This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone. Uh, today we will discuss one more WM interview question. Let's go through the question directly. The how to block the storage bin for stock placement or receiving process. Okay, like uh, the business requirement will be like, for example, there is a storage bin uh, which is under maintenance activity. You need to do some welding work for the track bins, or else there is a floor bin which needs to be the floor should be. Uh, you have to do the maintenance work for that. It is completely damaged because of. Uh, forklifts or uh, handling of any other iron kind of items and all so that you want to do maintenance and uh, that storage bins maybe 10 bins or 5 bins or 1 bin you want to stop any placement in that bin okay uh, until for a week or sometimes you want to keep for temporarily okay then how to block the bin today we will learn how to block the bin there are two kind of options we can utilize if you want to block only one bin uh, you can use the LS02N transaction code. If you want to block some 10 bins or uh, 20 bins simultaneously at a time, then uh, SAP has provided LS06 transaction code. Okay. Even uh, in the configuration, we can maintain the blocking reasons. Multiple blocking reasons we can maintain. And according to the blocking reason, system will display and uh, we need to utilize for the same. Okay. Let's see first. Uh, before going to block and block, let me show you where we can maintain the blocking reasons. SPRO, logistics execution, warehouse management, master data, storage bins. Here we can maintain the blocking reasons okay for your warehouse number you need to maintain the blocking reasons now for this demo or for this purpose i'm using g01 so i maintain this uh, maintenance work special business requirement okay we can utilize we can maintain the multiple kind of uh, reasons okay let's keep it few more we can maintain uh, maintenance work special business requirement damaged Temporary, no use. You don't want to use those bins for temporarily for a time being. Okay. Or else. Reserved. Maybe uh, during the uh, stock removal also, you want to block that bin stock. At that time, we can use it. Okay, now we are now we are discussing about the placement. So let's concentrate on that and the picking related. We will discuss in some other video. Okay, let's go with that. How to block the bin? And I will show you that after blocking, how system will throw error. Also, that also we can check it. Okay, now LS. 04 is a transaction to see some empty bins okay any a list of bins also you can see i'll just see you some empty bins here see here if you want to 030106 slash and ls02n this is the bin Okay, and uh, we will we need to keep the put away block as I mentioned. Put away means receiving, put away block, and um, you can maintain the blocking reason. Okay, 
see what are the maintain reasons we maintain for our warehouse number the same thing will be visible here maintenance work because of maintenance work we are blocking the bin for the future placements you can see this put a block was happen now save it okay and we will see how to block multiple bins at a time same i will use it here we give warehouse number and storage type and you can select what are the all bins you want to see only not blocked bins or put away block we can filter we will select the bins which are not blocked you want to show only those things let's select 0 3 1 2 3 three bins we will block at the same time you can see this unblock and block click on the block select put away block and uh, give the reason as temporary no use you don't want to use those bins now save it see with the description it is updated if you want to block multiple bins at the same time with a single reason then use ls06 and uh, ls02n if you want to block any single material as mentioned this is a business transaction which can be used in uh, any system like production or quality or development generally in production the super user will use this transaction code according to their uh, warehouse plan if they have any maintenance work for certain bins he can block it so that system will not propose that bin okay during the set strategy okay during set strategy system will ignore that bins and if you want to insist if you want to input the bin like you want to manipulate it you want to place the material in that bin system itself will throw the error message let's do that testing okay we will take any of these bins for our testing purpose let's we need to do one any inbound right um what will i do i will do transfer posting storage location storage location from an im to wm okay 311 moment type and plant is gkp2 my plant and uh, storage location this is an im location and click enter this is my wm location this is my material 20 pieces i want to transfer save okay now the document is saved we can create the transfer order okay you can display the same document in our migo you can get an idea 3348 we can use migo transaction in the uh, all latest ehp versions so uh, this mbt codes are i think in future these t codes will be obsolete we need to use migo okay how oh, enter okay we are doing from im to wm let's create transfer order transaction code is lt06 input the material document and material document year and the warehouse number g01 okay here we can see that put away foreground select put away foreground option the system has proposed uh, available bins okay now we need to do our negative testing right 0 3 0 1 and 0 1 okay see now the system is giving error message store is bin 0 3 0 1 blocked for stock placements this bin is blocked so it so that you cannot receive the stock to the bin okay although 0 3 series is empty system has proposed the next bins because uh, system has ignored the bins which have the put away block okay this is the uh, how to block the uh, overall what we have understood from this session how to block a storage bin for receiving process 
receiving a stock placement or put away all these terms come under in the same area how to block it and also we understood that system will ignore the bins which have blocked indicator for put away during the stock placement in the automatic strategy if you still want to place like how we have input manually then system itself will throw the error message it won't allow you to place stock okay i hope you understand that uh, how the block indicator works in the storage bin and uh, we have seen one receiving process and while creating to itself system is stopping you to create a to with that bin okay in some other session i will explain about uh, stock removal block and how that will be controlled how we can control those things and all okay. thanks for your time have a good evening